Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and welcome to a new episode. It came to my attention in the past few days that a number of articles have made the claim that the vegan diet may lack vital nutrients. Including from such sources as CBS and Tech Times. These articles are all based on a paper recently published by the Mayo Clinic uh, Physicians in the Journal of American Osteopathic Association. Uh, while the Mayo Clinic was not actually attacking vegan diets, the sensationalized titles of these articles risk spreading misinformation, especially when some people see a title and draw a conclusion before even reading any further. Ignorant, I know, but it happens all too often and we have to account for the idiots. Thus, I felt that a video on the topic would be useful and informative, uh, one that you could share with others and help educate, and perhaps even learn something yourself. Um, in the actual paper by the Mayo Clinic, they actually discuss a number of research-proven benefits from a plant-based diet, such as improvements in coronary artery disease and coronary heart disease, but also decreases in hypertension, hyperlipidemia, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. And based on research from March 2016 that was funded by the World Cancer Research Fund, a 35% reduced risk of prostate cancer. Are you listening to this, Jason Blaha? However, the Mayo Clinic warns that vegans are at risk for deficiencies in vitamin B12, iron, calcium, vitamin D, and omega-3 fatty acids. I know, I know. We've heard it all before, right? As a side note worth a chuckle, they did say that contrary to popular belief, vegans have not been shown to be deficient in protein intake or in any specific amino acids. Given that some vegans embark on extremes such as full raw diets, which I've covered in videos before that I do not support, and I've given my reasons why based on research, and given that some are vehemently opposed to the consumption of fortified foods and supplementation, I can see where the Mayo Clinic is coming from. They're merely issuing a warning to take care, not attacking the plant-based diet per se. Um, I've said before that everyone, vegan or not, should consider supplementing with B12. B12 is water-soluble, and any excess will be passed out via the urine. So there appears to be no need to worry about overdosing if you are a healthy person. And if you specifically watch my Keno Body Response video, which I will link below, I go into how wide-scale B12 deficiency actually is, not just among vegans, but also natural sources of B12, as well as vegan food sources beyond supplementation. I also discuss vegan omega-3 food sources and supplements, including those that contain DHA and EPA. And I advise uh, you all give that video a watch to save me from rehashing. It's very detailed and fully referenced. Um, as for iron, calcium, and D3, I would not recommend you supplement with those unless you have been tested positive for a deficiency. Or in the case of D3, you live somewhere that you just cannot get ample sunlight exposure most, if not all, of the year. Iron and calcium supplementation appear to have the most risk associated, however. In the case of iron overdosing, a slew of problems can occur, such as liver damage, convulsions, and coma. And calcium supplementation specifically has been demonstrated in a meta-analysis of trials to increase the risk of heart attack by 27 to 31% and increase the risk of stroke by 12 to 20%. People should stick to whole food sources of vitamins and minerals wherever possible. Vegan whole food sources of iron include various legumes, grains, nuts, seeds, and even green vegetables. And vegan whole food sources of calcium include fortified plant milks and juices, soy foods, and various greens. Really, there is no reason why you cannot be vegan and be healthy. You just gotta be mindful and stay clear of scientifically and medically unsupported fads. As the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has made quite clear, appropriately planned vegan diets are healthful and nutritionally adequate and may provide health benefits in the prevention and treatment of certain diseases. Keywords, appropriately planned. Anyhow, if you found this episode informative, please like and share it uh, so that it may reach others. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep on top of the weekly updates. Till we meet again.